to live back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on. What's going on, guys? It's Bryce from Fitz Records, and I'm back with a third installment, another installment of the weekly series on this channel, New Music Friday. Today is January 27th, and we got a big week. All right, this is probably the biggest week of the year thus far, so we're going to get into it, starting with some tracks that came out actually a few days ago, but I'm not going to ignore them, you know what I'm saying? And this Spotify playlist will be linked in the description, of course, so if you want to check out my playlist, I update this pretty much daily with new music that comes out, so make sure you check it out, but we're covering it here, starting with this first track, Two Tens by Corday Anderson Pac, produced by J. Cole. This shit is fire, you know what I'm saying? It is like that R&P vibe. It's not, I don't think it's as good as R&P, you know, their old collab they have produced by J. Cole. But it's still fire, you know, I did enjoy seeing this. Corday is probably going to release some fire pretty soon, so make sure you look out for that. This next track is this Midwest track, Tally, with Denzel Curry. It is so fire. This is just, it's completely almost out of Midwest comfort zone, I feel like. And, like, the horns in this song, it, it is great. Denzel Curry's first. Denzel's been going on a crazy feature run, so, you know, make sure you check that out. This next track here is actually a Logic track. It's actually a secret track Logic uploaded on his beat tape. He didn't even tweet this out or anything. It literally just came out. And it's called Mortigan Plastic Spoon, and he's rapping on this track. He's talking about, like, his career, a metaphorical character, kind of, about how he's being criticized for creating art, stuff like that. Definitely check that out if you haven't enjoyed that a lot. And I actually jumped into an album here. This is Ito and Future Waves' album, Future Waves Fire. I listened to his album, Boldy James, that came out last year. I really enjoyed that, so I had to check this out. It's called Dead Poets, and these are the tracks I enjoyed from it. Fire, dude. There's some hard... <laughs> Some hard, you know, underground boom bap Griselda type shit definitely was fucking with this, you know what I'm saying? And now we got the big drop, the one you've been waiting for me to talk about, Lil Yachty's album. Let's start here now. This first listen, I was a little iffy on it. Listen, I think this album's pretty good. Uh, I actually, as you can see here, I saved some more tracks on my second listen through down here. Um, but this album is, is divisive, I'll say, because listen, if you've been on Twitter, you're seeing... Everyone loved this album, and hey, good for them. This album's good. I, I liked it too for the most part, but I will say, I've been seeing a pattern. It's like, if you're only listening to hip-hop and you listen to this, it's going to sound a little earth-shattering, all right, for Yachty, you know? Uh, I think within the context of Lil Yachty's career, this album's good, but if you're looking at this album as a base value and taking into account other genres of music, like my friends that listen to other genres of music and people I've seen on Twitter listen to other genres of music, they're saying this album's a little derivative, and it's all right, all right? But people are saying it's, like, the greatest album of all time. Seem to just be hip-hop fans. Now, I'm not trying to tear Yachty down. I love when artists go outside of the box. I love when they try something new. I would take this Yachty album over some random mixtape with some generic trap features from Yachty a hundred times over. But, uh, hey, that's just my observation. Uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys think about this album. Let me know in the comments and kind of, like, how you feel about that. It seems that, like... Hip hop fans are really messing with it because they haven't heard anything like this. But people who like music like this, this psychedelic alternative rock, they're saying it's a little derivative, man. They're saying it's a little, alright, they're saying it's a little generic derivative. That's all I'm gonna say with that. But I did enjoy that. This next track we got here, Motown by KC featuring Babytron. Holy shit, this might be one of the best Babytron verses ever. The beat is so hard. The beat is supposed to go crazy. KC goes crazy. Hard. Hard as fuck. This next album I checked out, of course, you know, Summers dropped his album and much like fallen raven this was kind of a split album this album was 25 tracks long dude it was long as fuck fallen raven was like the first half was like hard shit and the second half was like more melodic you know plug and b shit and this album it almost seemed like every other track was alternating it was like hard plug and b hard plug and b hard r and b almost type shit and I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of Summers. I'm huge on Summers. I like Summers a lot. I think he's very talented. I like a lot of his songs. But I'm not the hugest fucking bird business, you know, whatever, whatever fucking. I'm not the biggest bird over here. But I like these tracks, and a lot of these tracks were the harder tracks. That's the type of Summers I like. I like that hard Summers. But I, I understand that Summers is kind of that plug and be kind of sewer, you know. A lot of his fans are kind of, you know, he's kind of that guy when it comes to that sound. So I get that, but these are the tracks I did enjoy. Some of the harder tracks on here were these. Next track, we got Tan by BK the Ruler. This might be one of my favorite songs to drop last night. This shit was hard. I love BK. She's been going crazy, you know what I'm saying? She's been going crazy. I just, I love, I love her vocal inflection. I love her flow. The beat on this is hard. This is just a hard hitting track. Definitely mess with this. Next, we got Tana dropped a little EP mixtape type thing. And these were the tracks I liked on it. I know Swaggin Like This has been out with Lancey, but I wanted to add it. It's been a while since I've heard it. Uh, but these songs were cool. They were just cool. Uh, I ain't got nothing crazy to say about this. 
it, it was all right to me. It was all right. These are the songs they saved. Definitely check this out. It was short listen, so it shouldn't be too much out of your way to listen to. Next, this track from Slow Tie. This came out earlier in the week, like I was saying earlier, but this is hard. This is some, like, Yeezus almost, like, rock shit. I'm fucking with this direction of Slow Tie. I feel like this is a direction Slow Tie's been heading in his career for a long time, but I like to see that he's finally executing that, and I think he's executing it very well with the way he uses his voice, you know? I feel like rap almost wasn't for Slow Tie. I don't think he's bad. I think he's incredibly talented, which is why I liked this track so much. Really excited for the album, which should come out soon. This next track, we got Blow Up by SG. He dropped another track, too. Wasn't a huge fan of that one, but this one I did like. What does this say about it? I mean, it's just the SG track, you know? It's just that hard, you know? What'd you expect? It's pretty generic, but we like SG over here. This shit was hard, so I was fucking with that. This next track here, a little TDE action going on. We got Sandcastles by Ray Vaughn featuring Absol. Huge fan of Absol. Herbert was an incredible album. Ray Vaughn, new signee to TDE, and he's been killing it recently. This single's nothing different. This single's hard, all right? This is, Ray Vaughn brings kind of like a more aggressive sound to TDE, you know? And this track definitely speaks for that. I would definitely, definitely, definitely check this out if you haven't. Shit is hard. This next album I checked out, Talibando, Warlord. Holy shit, dude. This is some Detroit shit. This man's from Detroit. I think this album may have dropped a little bit earlier, but it got on my radar today. The cover looks familiar to me, but the album did say it came out today. I was told it came out today, and it did come out today. That's what it says on Spotify. Um, so forgive me if I'm wrong. This has like been out, and it just went under my radar, and I'm, I'm covering it now, but... Regardless, I say pretty much this whole album, bro. <laughs> As you can see on here, dude, these features, V's and Lucky in the same song, Babyface Ray, uh, Baby Tron down here. Shit is hard, bro. Shit is hard. This is that Detroit shit. If you're a fan of Detroit, and it's not like that generic Detroit, I don't feel like, because, you know, Detroit, same with like New York, Atlanta, you know, there you do get those generic, you know, geographic artists. This album is not that. This shit is hard. There are a few songs like that, but this shit's hard. <laughs> <sighs> the next album I listened to was this Styles P album. It's called A Calm Wolf Is Still A Wolf. Pen Penny Ultimate. I don't I don't know how to fucking say that. But this shit was hard. I mean, Styles P to me, it, I don't want to say stuck in the past, because you know he's he's keeping the tradition going with what he's going with, but like it sounded a little dated to me. I don't know if I can take Styles P music too crazy seriously. Now I fuck with him. He's an incredible artist, incredible rapper, don't get me wrong, but like it's a little dated, you know, and I'm not saying it's dated just because it's like Hip hop type shit. I'm saying like the hooks and stuff are very like Eminem, very like Royce to Five Nine almost. I feel like like old school hooks. You know, you know what I'm saying when I say that like old school boom bap hip hop hooks had a certain sound. This album really has that. But these tracks, these tracks I saved here, these were the hard tracks. You know, what I'm saying that fucking you know them fucking hard hard keys and shit. I was fucking with it definitely. This next track I listened to, SGP West Suicide. This shit is hard. SCP West is hard. Been making waves in hyper pop underground plug and B for a while. Definitely was fucking with this. Hard track. Uh, I like when he kind of goes this route. I, I don't really enjoy his like singing stuff too much. This shit was hard though. This shit was hard. And the last track that I checked out today. I don't know Jeffrey. Laugh out loud. I don't know Jeffrey's the fucking go. If you don't know Jeffrey, you better learn because this man's fire. He's hilarious. He's one of my favorite artists. I've been a fan of him for years. He's just hard. He's This song is good. He drops music all the fucking time. Never shorts of music from the boy. Thoroughly enjoyed this. This shit was hard. I would check it out if you just enjoy If you want to laugh, bro. Not even... He, he's not even like a meme rapper. He just has hilarious fucking bars. And I love it. This shit was hard. Definitely check it out. But that is the new Music Friday for today, January 27th, 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, you know, make sure to subscribe. You know, hit the bell so you don't miss any updates, any news, any videos. I make videos like this and other videos all the time. I got crazy amounts of content, wide variety kind of on the channel. Just check the channel out, you know. We're making the, the, the Fitz Records is a movie, you know what I'm saying? But if you enjoyed, appreciate you guys watching. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram down there too. And like I said, playlist is linked in the description, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace. Can I pitch a little Bobby just a young and run around with his pants, hammer in his hand, feeling like a man. Run for the pole, pole.